say some assumptions that you might have about me and oh boy some of them seemed very very interesting and quite funny so I have gone through and picked out a few of my favorites that I think will be a little bit fun to chat about in tonight's video and since it's been a little bit since I've done like a Q&A style video I thought maybe another assumptions video because I have done one before would be a good chance for those who might be new to the channel to learn a little bit about me and maybe just for a bit of a fun uh, video here so I really hope that you all do enjoy and uh, if you do why not consider giving this video a big thumbs up it would really mean so much to me and uh, if you are new here to the channel and you're not already subscribed then why not consider subscribing it's completely free and uh, without further ado let me grab my phone and we'll get into some of these assumptions so first off Here 
goes quite quickly and I'm not really a fan of my hair being all really long. In fact, the length it's kind of got to now is kind of, for me, a little bit longer than I'd like. So I'll probably be getting it cut within the next week or so. Uh, but I like short hair on myself, anyways. Um, and uh, that kind of reminds me, I've always been asked says, you know, how do you do your hair? Is that something you guys would be interested in? Maybe like a, a day in the life of Dido kind of video. And I do like a get ready with me in the morning sort of thing. Because my hair routine is pretty simple, but you know, obviously I try to keep it in shape. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's once a month a lot. If you let me know. Next up, Maxi the gal says every time you find a new little game you instantly turn the cam on yup <laughs> you got that right <laughs> every time even if my friends have told me you know oh you should try this game first thing that comes to mind is can I make a video out of it a majority of the time that's what I end up doing. I've done it recently with games like um, the Password Game or Only Up. Um, and as of recently, I actually did it with a game, uh, a maths related game called The Devil's Calculator. And I was going to post it on this channel. Um, but because it's a maths related game, I instantly stuck the cameras on recorded it for a bit and I posted it to my ASMR Maths channel. A uh, little bit of a plug. If you don't know about my ASMR Maths channel, definitely check it out. It's all ASMR and all maths. There'll be a link in the description. And I played that game over there recently after I discovered it and I had so much fun, although it was incredibly tricky. So if you've checked that out already, you'll know but uh, to answer your assumption, yes, I do. I do, I really do. Especially when new games are released as well. I always try and find the opportunity to film it when it's at its peak. Peak. But thank you, Maxi. These are fun. The next one um, is from uh, Best Squad. Um, who says, you've been doing ASMR for so long, your voice is forever quiet due to instincts. <laughs> I'm laughing because it couldn't be further from the truth. I actually get told I am a very loud person, which is why I think when I tell people I whisper in my videos or when people discover me whispering in my videos, they're kind of like, how do you do that? Um, because I'm a very loud person. I think my entire family are quite a loud family. Um, and I always remember kind of doing uh, basically for a part of... Um, Scotland at least, for part of uh, sort of languages tests or exams. You know, I studied French at one point and um, you have to do like a sort of oral um, sort of speaking exam and they wouldn't usually pull you into a separate room. They would just get you to the front of the class while everyone else just did some work. And it was always the, the fear for me to do that because I knew I was a loud person. So everyone would hear everything that I said, even if I tried to say it quietly. And so I was scared that if I'd make a mistake, everyone would hear me. So being loud is, in my eyes, my downside. So ASMR is the perfect opportunity for me to show the other side of me that, you know, can be quiet and uh, can whisper. Um, so yeah. That's why that was quite funny. <laughs> the next assumption comes from Loomis BX, who says, You're a really nice and all 
awesome guy on and off camera and everyone loves you well thank you <laughs> I mean I was doing an assumptions video expecting to see some crazy things but if that's a compliment I'll take it as a compliment even though it's an assumption so I guess I'll say thank you and uh, yeah that really means a lot I appreciate that Loomis Jerry, who is one of my channel members, shout out to Jerry, says, you're actually English, but you're doing a fake Scottish accent because you think it makes your voice sound softer. Is the Scottish accent softer than English? See, I would assume accent is softer than the Scottish accent personally um, I don't know I mean for starters I am 100% Scottish uh, in fact I've done a DNA test I'm not 100% Scottish but you know I'm like crazy high percentage Scottish born and raised I do have English family but my accent if you've heard my real voice, you'll know it's a little bit stronger than it sounds when I whisper, because I think when I whisper, my voice kind of changes. But so does everyone's, I guess. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm not English, and I am not doing a fake Scottish accent. But that's weird, because I would think English sounds softer. Who knows? SF7123 says Growing up, you could never grow a beard or facial hair So when you grew a tiny mustache, you decide to ask people to show uh, Ask to show people you can grow facial hair <laughs> um, I mean, ironically, I have my terrible facial hair at its kind of maximum right now and personally I don't really like my own facial hair and I know you're thinking I don't why didn't you just shave before filming honestly because I'm just lazy I'm just lazy like that I shave about once a week sometimes I'll let it go on for a couple days longer hence now I got a bit of fluff on the side of my head I don't like my facial hair. There's bits that don't join up that I wish did. Right ear. Like right ear. Right ear and ear. You know, I wish they did. My facial hair is awful. I know. And I need to shave right now. I wish I could grow a better beard. Um, but you know. I, it's weird though, because I have seen comments of people saying, Oh, Dido, I love the mustache. You should keep it. I don't like it. I don't like it, guys. So I'll never really keep it, if that makes sense. Thank you, though. <laughs> the next assumption comes from the All Sorts Podcast, who says, another accent one, you are good with accents like French and American, for example. Oh, gosh, don't make me try and do them. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm good with accents. I can maybe do a couple. You're gonna make me try them, and everyone in the comments now is gonna hate me. <laughs> right? French. I don't even know where to start with this. Oh, bonjour, je m'appelle. I don't. I don't know, French. French people. accent is really like this, you know. Um, so, so no is for French. American is very divided because you've got lots of different types of American accents. But the one that I hear the most, at the moment anyways, because I've been watching a lot of Young Sheldon, is the sort of Texan accent. So it's kind of ingrained in my head right now. Um, and I am not going to try and do it. <laughs> Accents and impressions are not for me, but I remember uh, for my 100 subscriber special, yep, that long ago, I did 
podcasts impressions and a couple months later I privated it it's still on my channel but it's privated because it's so bad I'm never gonna make it public ever again <laughs> maybe maybe one day who knows I'll share it with you somehow but it's just embarrassing so I will never <laughs> Next assumption comes from Gaming with Sir Official, who says, even though you do ASMR, you have another well-paying job. Nope. Um, ASMR is what I do uh, full-time, I guess you could say. It is my soul. say that, you know, making YouTube videos and doing ASMR is what I do for a living because to me it is so, so much fun and I say this all the time that I talk about it but, you know, it, even if I had another job I would still make ASMR videos because it is something that I absolutely love, you know, the sort of satisfaction that makes me really happy knowing that I'm helping people uh, with sleep, relaxation, stress, anxiety, whatever it is you may use ASMR for, always puts a smile on my face to know that I'm making these videos for you and you're all absolutely amazing people, so, um, but to give you a little bit of fun facts, I've only ever had one other job, um, and it was a part-time job at a DIY store in the UK called B&Q. Um, and I worked there for, I want to say, f three and a half years. And then I quit that to, you know, put more time and effort into this. Um, so, yeah, that was a fun assumption. But, no. Next up, Jimmy's mum's mum says your family is actually proud of you despite you choosing a unique career path. That's an interesting question or assumption. I would personally say that they're proud of me. I would or I'd like to think so. Um I mean I know some of them watch these videos, so if you guys are watching, let me know. Are you proud that I do this or I don't know, would you have rather I went down a different route? I mean, one day I do eventually hope to do my dream in life, which is teach mathematics. But I also want to keep doing this because this is another passion of mine. But I would like to think that they're proud of me. You know, kind of hints I get from them as well that they are is, you know, they'll talk about it frequently with me. You know, my YouTube is a common talking point with them. Um... And you know, they're not embarrassed to really tell other people about the fact that I make ASMR videos. So I'd assume that they are somewhat proud of me. I hope. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Next up, Random Channel says, You're a very organized and clean person, and you're someone who is friends with everyone. <laughs> start with the first part. You could not be more right. I am very particular. Um, I'm not OCD with cleanliness and organization, but I would say I'm, you know, borderline. Um, you know, my flat, my apartment, myself, I try to be as clean and healthy as possible. Everything is organized and neat, I would like to say. Um, you know, everything's always in its order, um, and things like that. And there was, there was another assumption I saw that was, um, it was like, you're the type of person who comes out the shower then washes their hands. <laughs> Which, I mean, I don't do that. But, you know, after I've, like, come out the shower, brushed my teeth, got ready and stuff, I will. And sometimes, even when I get home from being out, wash my hands, especially when I've been on like public transport and stuff, and I think that's kind of growing on me over time after COVID and things. So yeah, 
is more disappointing than this. I don't know if you can maybe give your input in the comments, but when doing ASMR, whether that be, you know, making a video like right now or editing the video, I don't particularly experience tingles or the ASMR sensation. You know, I'll often, you know, pick up a trigger and start making sounds with it and I'll kind of say like, Oh, you know, oh, that sounds good. I, I think people will like this. But I don't ever really get tingles or whatever. Sometimes I might get tired, but that's just because of the sort of tranquility of ASMR. Um, but no, I've never experienced tingles from my own videos. Up next, Abby asks... It's not asks, it's assumed. Abby assumes you are a fan of the Sidemen. Um, some of you may think that, and uh, you would be correct. You know, I, I mean, you might notice the prime in the background, or if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see I went to their charity match last year. Um, what else might give it away? I have a Sidemen t-shirt. Um, you know, I wouldn't say I'm an avid fan, uh, but I do, you know, occasionally watch their videos. Uh, when I was younger, I was probably more of a Sidemen fan than I am now. Uh, I don't really watch YouTube as much as I did back in the day, which is interesting. Uh, but yeah, the Sidemen are some of the people I do watch when I do. So I'd say yes, that's correct. Next up, FamCam ASMR um, says, You are a descendant of Larry Bird, and nothing can convince me otherwise. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure a lot of you know Larry Bird, but if you don't, he was a basketballer, and a very good one, one of the best. So, I'm assuming FamCam is assuming as a compliment, FanCam, thank you very much. <laughs> but no, I would definitely never compare myself to someone like Larry Bird, much better player than I will ever be. Um, and uh, I mean, I wish I had the capabilities of Larry Bird. I appreciate it though. And um, who knows, maybe we'll do another basketball video one day. And uh, Sorry, says you are a shy person if noticed in public because ASMR is deemed to be embarrassing. I don't really find ASMR embarrassing. Not as much as, you know, the stereotype that it was maybe five, six years ago. I'd say about five, six years ago, a lot of people, because it wasn't as popular, a lot of people may have found it a bit weird may have been a bit embarrassed by it if, you know, they told people they watched it. I'm openly happy to admit that I make ASMR and I watch it um, and I have been noticed in public a few times, I would say about somewhere between five and ten times. Uh, the most recent of which was when I was on a little trip away to Alton Towers, which is a theme park here in the UK, and one of the workers on the right uh, asked me if I was tied on ASMR, and I said yeah, but because it doesn't happen too often, I generally don't know what to say, so I usually just, you know, I'm, I'm just like, thank you for watching my videos, appreciate it, um, hope you're doing well, just like, no reason to treat them like they're not an ordinary person, you know? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's always interesting when you meet someone who knows you because you make ASMR videos. <laughs> so I think we'll do a few more here. Uh, John Maxwell, shout out to John, says, um, 
you have a specific ritual you follow to prepare for live streams. <laughs> for those who don't know, I do stream on Twitch every Tuesday and Saturday. Be sure to drop by. There's a link in the description. And uh, John comes to them a lot. Um, a specific ritual I follow. I mean, without going into too much detail, I always make sure I've eaten and gone to the toilet at least half an hour before. Um, what else? I mean, streaming for me, sometimes depending on what I'm streaming, can take a little while to set up. So I'll usually begin to get ready half an hour before, as I've said, going to the toilet and eating, and then I'll plug my camera in, get my software loaded up, make sure the internet connection's all good, do a little practice, uh, get a drink, get some triggers out, um, get the chat up, um, sometimes put out notifications saying that I'm streaming and whatnot. If you call that a ritual, then that's what I do, but I don't have any, you know, weird things I'll do, apart from, like, when I'm on the starting Zoom screen, sometimes I'll go, like, Which I know sounds really weird, but that's to make sure I don't have like a croaky, raspy throat when I first start the stream. Because sometimes when I start, I'll be like, eh, 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 and it comes out weirdly. So I need to do a little, eh, eh, <laughs> sort of preparation. That looks so weird out of context. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. Second last one I'll read tonight. Austin says you rarely procrastinate and get things done when needed to be. <laughs> I'd say I procrastinate a teensy bit. Um, you know, sometimes household tasks I'll procrastinate, but when I need something to be done, I will get it done a hundred percent in the time frame I need to get it done within. So for example, I had family staying over the last weekend and I was kind of procrastinating, uh, sort of cleaning and preparing and stuff. But then, you know, the day before or whatever, I was like, right, I need to. So I just spent like the entire day getting prepared and whatnot. And I don't mind doing household work and I'll get it done when I need to get it done. So yeah, I guess that's true in the sense that I get things done when needed to be, but I do procrastinate a wee bit. Thank you, Austin. And the last one here is from Nash. And Nash assumes, I feel like you have a very cool family. All of you took unique career paths and you are all happy for each other. I also think you're a really good athlete. Well, I mean, for this assumption, I must firstly say thank you if you are genuinely assuming that. I appreciate it, and on behalf of my family, thank you as well. We are kind of all doing separate things at the moment. Um, although I do have family that also, or have also done teaching, so if I do eventually go into teaching, you know, I'm kind of following in their footsteps, but it kind of runs in the family anyways. But yeah, I've got family members that do all sorts of stuff, and I'm proud of each and every one of them for what they do. Um, so yeah, and we are all happy for each other. And you think I'm a really good athlete? I appreciate that a lot. Um, you know, I really only play basketball as a sport. Uh, I like to go on runs. Uh, back in the day, I played football. Um, I was always weirdly good at high jump and long jump as well. Other than that, I wasn't too good at any other sports, you know. So yeah. <laughs> but anyways, everybody, that is where I'm going to wrap up tonight's video. I hope you have all enjoyed it and maybe, you know, learned something or find it a bit funny. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate everyone that sent in a 
assumptions, try my best to answer as many as possible. You know, I only picked out a, a bunch, there were absolutely loads. So uh, maybe I'll do a part two to this, who knows? Um, but let me know in the comments. Uh, and other than that, I want to thank you all so very much for watching tonight's video. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're not already. And other than that, hope you all sleep well. Have a great rest of your day, night, whatever.